Okay, gender sex. Uh, sure, I guess. I actually think that this is, you know, the gender is the way that you, yeah, if you have a beard or not, if you have a deep voice, if you are typically masculine is what we define as masculine in 2020 mm. America or whatever culture you're in. And sex refers to biological traits like the shape of your chromosomes if you have a penis or okay. not. Sorry, did you say gender was a spectrum or binary? I think that both of these are spectrums. Okay, so you're less masculine from a gender perspective. Than you. Because of your, <laughs> okay, that's just a thing. That's like just a thing. We're all on a spectrum. You fight and society says that men fight and I don't fight and you're taller and you weigh more. Okay. And the timbre of your voice is a few uh, decibels lower than mine. Okay. Unless I'm reading a script for Charisma on Command. Hey, guys. Hi, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Talk about Craig Ferguson. And whatever. And maybe there's areas in which... In which sure. Okay. I'm not opposed. The one thing I'd say is... Uh, <laughs> People will hear this and think that masculine, if you are male sexed and cis, is good or superior in some way, which is, I think, the part that needs to get thrown out. You're kind of making a video about this with Cobra yeah. Kai. Yeah. I think aiming at masculine seems silly compared to aiming mm -hmm. at, like, happy or good relationships or yeah. something of that nature. But So here's for all you anyway, biologists, carry, carry for all the scientists out there and biologists, feel free to go berserk in the comments. I, I, I welcome this particular on this topic. So binary. What binary means is one or the other. Mm -hmm. In binary code, every one is identical yeah. to every other one. Sure. Same with the zeros. Yeah, if not, it would be really hard to code. And what we say is, okay, well, this person is XX, this person is XY. So my question is, is every XX chromosome identical to every other person's XX chromosome? I have never looked through a microscope, but I have a sneaking suspicion that no, that your XYs and my XYs are different. You're saying like the tail of the Y might be longer I, or shorter. Tails are longer, the way sure. that it's set up. So I have no idea. Okay. And, and take, you know, every penis, I know that is, is not identical. So whatever biological thing you want to refer to, you do not wind up with one or two options. Only when you zoom out and you squint at it, you go, yeah, that one's XX, that one's XY. But really what you have is a spectrum. Sorry, this is your argument for why even- Sex so is a gender spectrum. Gender is a spectrum. That one seems to be people are more open to. You're saying yeah. even sex, male versus female- Is a spectrum. Is a spectrum. Okay. Is a spectrum. I think everything is a spectrum. Uh, this is like the deconstructionist thing that every that is, uh, you know, the Jordan Petersons don't really like as much these, these days. I actually don't know if he doesn't like this part of it, but- what you wind up with is, you know, here's my sister, here's your sister, here's our moms, here's this. And their XXs are all over here, but they're not the same. Mm -hmm. And here's me and it's your like dad and Justin and, and everybody. Exactly. And when you zoom out, it's like, oh, no, there's just two. Mm -hmm. But when you zoom in, you go, no, they're all over the place. And there's Kleinfelters, which is somebody in here, which is like XXY. And mm -hmm. there's, and you know, and there's these tails that start to move in. But zooming out, it's like, yeah, if you want to make a baby you got to pull someone from over here yeah, yeah. and someone from over here. And then even then you're not guaranteed. But any sort of definition, whether it's chromosomal or otherwise, if you zoom in enough, you will find that it is not identical and therefore cannot be binary. Okay. What's the therefore though? Sex is not binary. That's okay. it. So, and therefore, oh, and, that's it. That's and there, just like a I just don't, when I hear people argue that sex is binary, it seems evident to me that it's not. Hmm. Uh, in the same way that like people are like, no, this couch is obviously solid. It's like, to you, it might appear that way. But yeah. if you zoom in, it's mostly empty space. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing that I always find- Well, this is, I mean, I think this is where we're going in terms of um, dividing things by male, female, mm -hmm. I think, is or dividing things by gender or by sex or by, you know, by chromosome. I think we'll just go to the wayside, which is to say, like, mm -hmm. there is no WNBA. There's mm -hmm. just an NBA and anyone can play. And like military, we're gonna, we're gonna do male, female. No, we're not. We're gonna do, has to bench press 185 yeah. pounds 10 times, has to run a mile in six minutes and 30 seconds. No matter what your chromosomes are, you can do that, you pass. If you can't do that, you fail. And well, what about making different rules for different genders or different sexes? It's like, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. That's kind of where I see things going, which is actually going to be, compared to the traditional sense, you may find you exclude more based on gender on accident when you set physical yeah, yeah. benchmarks, but you're not going to be doing it because of a uh, genitalia or chromosomes you're just going to let people run as fast as they can and lift as much as they can yeah and you'll do less i guess pairing off based on genitalia let's say and i don't know that people are going to like or dislike that and maybe there'll be a pushback but i think that's the direction we're going to head for a period of time mm -hmm. if that makes sense i totally agree well this is this is where i was kind of going with this is that uh 
all models are false, but some are useful. Mm -hmm. So like the dichotomy of men and women is false. Yep. It is, it is you, I am not identical to you. Like sure. to say that, that there are men and that there are women, but that's very useful. It's very useful when you're like, you know, who am I probably gonna wanna be friends with when I'm really young? And like, who's gonna have similar interests to me? And like, if I'm heterosexual, you know, even forget heterosexual, who are you likely to be attracted to? It's likely to be someone that is on the opposite side of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And then of course there's gay people. And if you tell me that you're gay, I can guess that you're gonna be attracted to someone on the same side yeah, of the yeah, spectrum. They're, they're, you will get a lot of guesses right if you if adopt you know, this. If you come in with a gunshot in your belly, and and I and I need to communicate whether or not you have certain organs. I go, that is a woman, and then boom, that doctor knows right away. Like, okay, I gotta be careful of the uterus, and the, yeah. <laughs> there are things that they know. Um, you don't have to treat every single situation as totally stunning, new, and novel. That's what words do for us. But mm -hmm. we can't forget that every word that we use is, it's false. Yeah, it's yeah. not true. It it you do not ever fall into this category perfectly or guaranteed. Yeah. So the question that you raised is, okay, these made a lot of sense. Like men, go fight in war. <laughs> Women, go stay home. Forget if you like it or not. It's a really useful heuristic. Mm -hmm. How useful are those going forward? And I think what we're seeing- Well, or even men in the UFC fight other men. Yeah. Women in the UFC fight other women. Why? Super useful. Well, it's super <laughs> useful. Like to la use those labels is helpful mm -hmm. in terms of getting roughly fair matches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, this is one where I think, and so- I guess just wrapping that point, I think that we're going to see, the question is, where are these useful and where aren't they mm -hmm. useful? Uh, the UFC to make, make sense because people, the market will pay to see Wei Li fight Shevchenko. Mm -hmm. But the WNBA doesn't seem to have a reason to exist in this world where we accept that it's mostly a soup because, and I've talked about this, the difference between me and LeBron James is roughly the same as Lisa Leslie to LeBron James, right? With the same height, like she might even be stronger. Yeah, than and I I'll, I'll, I'll try to. What you're saying is, yes, Lisa Leslie, if there was no WNBA, would not be able to play in the NBA, and neither can you. And neither and for can both me of you. In it's any universe, of how you were born. Yes, yes, I I was born with a deficiency of testosterone that yeah, would preclude genetics. me from ever competing against LeBron James, and the idea that. I would be expected to, but she wouldn't in this world, which I agree with is like, you know, is this stuff useful? I actually don't think it makes sense. Does the fact that she has a vagina mean that she couldn't play? No, it's her height, it's her speed, it's her quickness. Yeah, yeah. And if she has me beat on those through natural raw talent attributes, why can't I play against her? And, but more importantly, you could play against whoever you want. The market doesn't want to pay for it. That's why the WNBA, yeah, the WNBA needs to go is, away. Is, is an interesting one because they have lost money every year and they're yes. constantly being subsidized by the NBA. I think <clears throat> that I'm I'm very excited to sit this one out because I think there's going to be a huge battle between uh, cis women and trans women to figure out what the definition of a woman is. Yeah. Because that will have a lot of impact in the military and sports. Title and, nine, man. Uh, jobs and board of directors because now there's board requirements for yeah. California if you're a public company. So Caitlyn Jenner comes onto your board. She fills one of your female requirements mm -hmm. for a board member, I assume. Mm -hmm. So then she's taking a cis woman's potential seat. That's, you guys figure it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Caitlyn versus whoever spot. Caitlyn versus Caitlyn, yeah. Like y'all figure it out. Cause uh, I know that I in California will have to sit on a male seat for a board of directors. So I actually don't. Well, this, this brings us to need, our third question. Well, I don't, I don't feel the need to weigh in. This brings us to the third <laughs> question. You guys, do you have to sit on that? So I said, there's, is it a spectrum? Is it a binary? Okay, third thing is, how do you, what determines where you are? Well, yeah, this is the thing that will happen if you make it easy to identify, to change your gender. If you make it effortless and just a statement of fact, and you let trans and cis be treated identical for the purposes of division, mm -hmm. you will see more trans women in professional athletic leagues, you will yeah. see more trans women taking the seats of um, board of directors, and you will see people who might not have identified as trans identifying as trans for those opportunities. I'm not saying that's what's happening today. I'm definitely not saying that's everybody. It's already that's started. This. No, it's already started. But what I'm saying is that's in the same way we talked about the airline industries, with their incentive structure of getting a guaranteed bailout, should use all their cash for share buybacks. If you make it so that someone can get a great high paying job by identifying as a woman, you should assume that there will be bad faith actors who do that. 
Well, I want to go even further. Like, I, I know you want to sit this one out, but should you be able to... Dis it's okay, so I think... And tell me if you disagree. It's a spectrum, both sex and gender. Uh, there's we, we have four different uh, advantages and disadvantages depending on mm -hmm. where you are perceived and where you line up that are maybe not fair in every case. Like, it's... To me, it's not fair that I have to compete against LeBron James if I want to play professional basketball and my sister doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like, she was worse than me all growing up and she got to be on the varsity team. What is up with that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I couldn't compete against the guys any better than she could, but she got to be in this other league. And I know that that sounds crazy at the face of it, but if you follow this argument, it it kind of, I, hopefully you're with me still. I, I do believe it makes sense. So when it comes to what are you, should you get to decide? Because it seems to me that the way that El Elliot Page is using the word men is not the way that so many others are using the word men. I mean, when they say men, they typically refer to someone who, again, and you don't have to have all of these things. If you were an, a war veteran and your penis was blown off in an IED, people will still say, no, that's a guy, but typically has a penis, typically has a larger stature, deeper voice, facial hair, armpit hair, all these kinds of things. So how much of those does she have, he, I'm so confused with all of this, yeah. does he have to represent in order to to move to that category or does everyone else at just the statement that I am a he yeah. have to react to that? Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.